video is on synthesis and decomposition reactions. So there are five total types of reactions that we're going to learn about, and these are your first two. All of our reactions relate back to Dalton's law. Dalton's law states that chemical reactions occur when atoms are separated or joined. Separated being decomposition, joined being synthesis reactions. So let's start with synthesis. Synthesis is where two or more substances react to form a single product. We can only have one product in my synthesis reaction. All synthesis reactions follow the same format of A plus B yields AB. So for example, if I have magnesium solid plus oxygen gas, they're going to react together to form one product. Magnesium, which is Mg, plus 2 is going to react with my oxygen, which is minus 2. Those charges cancel out and I make MgO. Then I need to go ahead and balance my reaction. One magnesium here, one here, two oxygens here, one here, so I need to put a 2 in front of my magnesium oxide. Then I go back and check. One magnesium, two magnesiums. So I need to put a 2 in front of my magnesium here, so then I check again. Two magnesium, two magnesiums, two oxygens, two oxygens. I now have a balanced chemical equation. Go ahead and try writing the reaction when potassium solid reacts with chlorine gas, what will they produce? You want to first translate the names into their chemical formulas, then predict their products. Once you have that, you're going to go back and balance your reaction. Our second type of reaction to learn about are our decomposition reactions. Here, a single compound breaks down into two or more simpler products. So I have AB breaking down into A plus B. Notice that in these reactions, I only have one reactant, in this case, AB. Also notice that it's the opposite basic format of my synthesis reaction. Here I'm making AB, and here I'm breaking it down. So relating back to what I created my first time, magnesium oxide, that breaks down into magnesium and oxygen. Now we cannot just write oxygen just as an L because we know that it's part of our diatomics or our Brinkelhoff elements. So it needs to be O2 and the diatomic, which are all gases, so I know that I can write G for gas. Magnesium is a metal, so I can write S for solid after that. Then I need to go ahead and balance my chemical reaction. One magnesium, one magnesium, one oxygen, two oxygens. So I need to put a two in front of magnesium oxide. Then I check again. Two magnesiums, one magnesium. So again, I need to put a two in front. I check again. Two magnesiums, two magnesiums, two oxygens, two oxygens. I now have a balanced chemical reaction. Go ahead now and try writing the reaction of potassium chloride breaks down into what? Again, go ahead and notice that synthesis and decomposition reactions are opposites. So if you can show it being synthesized, you should also be able to show it breaking apart. synthesis reaction, the part that you tried, you should have got their answer of 2 potassium solid plus 1 chlorine gas molecule yields 2 KCl solid or potassium chloride. For my second answer, I should have got, or you should have got, 2 potassium chloride solid yields 2 potassium solid plus 1 chlorine gas. 